throwing mechanics for a quarterback are not the most important factor, but they do factor in. Wyatt got the ball. Wyatt back to throw. Wyatt look. Wyatt toward the end zone. Pass. Oh, of course, touchdown by Matthew Butler. Matthew Butler. Jeff. This video is sponsored by Mississippi Land Bank. Land Bank. Visit them online at mslandbank.com. There are lots of other things that are more important than the fine details of throwing mechanics, but they do factor in. They can have an effect. There's a reason you work on those things. And so, you know, probably the extreme example would be like a, a Bernie Kosar threw the ball sidearm and had a great NFL career, college career. Doesn't throw the ball. He just lets go of it like a guy losing a bar of soap in the shower. It looks more like a complicated fumble than a pass. Uh, Philip Rivers put up Hall of Fame numbers and maybe had the ugliest throwing mechanics we've seen in the NFL. I settle down a little bit when I hit Krause over the middle. To the air, Knox and throws and a diamond pass to Ryan Krause. Kind of put that in perspective. Right? There's been a lot of guys with great mechanics who couldn't, you know, make it to the NFL or couldn't even start in college football. That's not the most important thing. But having said that, as a former quarterback, I enjoy watching it. Uh, so these are Alabama quarterbacks. This is practice footage. And you have some reps they're going through the different quarterbacks at Alabama. So I had some fun watching this and I thought I'd share it with you. This is not at all a, an evaluation, a, a, a critical look at anybody's mechanics at all. None whatsoever. I just thought it's fun since we have the footage, kind of look at the differences and the way they seat the ball, the way the ball comes back or up or how far back one guy throws versus another one comes right out of his ear. I just thought it'd be fun to take a look at it. Okay, so you've got Bryce Young, Paul Tyson, uh, Milrow, the freshman, and uh, Braxton Barker. And all those guys are a little different. So again, just for fun because we want football. <laughs> This time of year, doggone it, the games haven't started yet. Let's take a look at these guys and see how they throw it. It's interesting watching these throwing motions. Now, you know, this is one where it kind of gives you a look from behind. You can kind of see where the ball seats for him. We'll see it from a, if you were looking, you know, straight on, like from out here, looking back at him at this direction, you'd see he kind of has that ball seated into his chest a little bit. You see right here, um, Ball extends back, but that's good. You know, it's up. Okay, so the first move, this is really nitpicking. It's just fun to look at. First move is up, right, for him. First move is not down with the football, and it's really not even straight back. So even though he's bringing it back, first move is sort of up. So he's getting the ball up. That's efficient. Okay. So bring it up, elbow out in front. His footwork is good, too. We'll look at some of those things. That's a good tight release right there, up. So from the seat where he seeks the ball, ball comes up. You see that uh, point of that football is kind of right there at his ear, right where it's supposed to be. And he's going to turn it around pretty quick. Good mechanics. Real athletic, you know, it's not tight. It's not a little bit, it's not over-exaggerated in any way. And this guy here, um, Milrow, and again, I, I was kind of looking at the roster. He's the freshman. You can see his name there on the back of the helmet. But really quick release right here. I was watching. Just watch it yourself full speed. Zip. See that? I mean, that ball is up and out quickly. So if we go right here, he's like Bryce. Um, again, if you were looking straight on. You know, he holds the ball or kind of seats it down in his chest. He's not seating it up here on his shoulder, but that's okay. So it's kind of relaxed. I think that's a good thing. And then the ball immediately, you know, when he brings it back, if you'll notice one thing that's different, you know, uh, the point of that football is kind of up, right? Like right here. So he's not bringing it up and turning that ball all the way around if you could, if you could, you know, look at it that way. So just kind of look at the position of the ball and its direction. <clears throat> he doesn't actually turn it all the way around right here. And then it's, and then it's, so he's already pumping it. I mean, it's really tight to his shoulder. The other thing I was noticing about him is how he grips the football. Different guys grip it in different ways, but you can kind of see right there. He's actually got a finger that's sort of like on the point of the ball right here. Not everybody does that. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, 
towards the point. That's a really tight, quick release uh, from a freshman. And when you watch it in full speed, it really jumps out at you how uh, tight and quick it is. Zip. A lot of arm strength. He's a good-looking player, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so here's uh, Tyson. See the release right there? I'm going to go back and look. Now, this is a totally different angle, but he, he's a taller guy, too, but he liked the others. But like I was saying, the, the finger, so you kind of see where his uh, top finger is there on the ball. The way he grips it, he may have bigger hands. I don't know. We were looking at the younger guy who had his – he's gripping it. That top finger is almost out here on the point of the ball. So different guys, different grips, but he's seating the ball uh, a little higher, you know, up there kind of on his collarbone. The other guys are kind of holding it in there in their chest. So he seats it just a little higher maybe than those other two we saw. And then the motion, pretty good. I mean, this is really prototypical right here, right? Like the first thing that happens is drops it down just a little like that. Nothing at all, really. I mean, it's, it's really good. Back. It's what we talk about when he's getting ready to throw. You know, if, if you could look at the point of that football, putting it right in his ear, coming right off of his ear. Up really tall for a tall guy. That's a really good release right there. You know, I mean, and it's any anybody at this level is going to throw the ball pretty well. Here's Barker. That's nostalgic for Bama fans to see a guy named Barker wearing number seven. You know, his is maybe not quite as long a release as the other guys. Not Maybe not quite as uh, fluid, I would almost call it, release as the other guys. You know, he's seating it in there, uh, kind of like the others, right in his chest. He's When I say seat it, you know, some guys back in the day, you'd seat it right up on your shoulder. You're, you look at an extreme example there, it would be like a Werfel. Not many people do that. A um, little bit of a drop right there. See that? So I'm getting ready to throw. He's coming out of the break. Ball's down and up. So he, more than the other, is kind of bringing that thing down a little bit. But still, you know, the first move after that is ball up. And see what I mean? You know, if you notice uh, some of those others, that elbow's out, and the ball is extended a little farther back. Therefore, there was more separation in here, it looked like, from his ear to the football. Uh, his release is, is a little bit more closed and tight. I mean, that ball is right off the side of his helmet where he's coming from. And uh, let's see. But he does a good job. Just kind of turns that body. It actually is a little bit more. It's got a, just a tiny bit more of Werfel in this release than the other guys. An accurate throw. Here's Young. A little bit of a different angle. So you can kind of see from the front what it looks like on his release and he drops it down right there a little bit actually doesn't he you know and that could be just the difference in throwing to your left versus throwing to your right or the length of the throw but uh i tell you you know he's got pretty big hands he's gripping the football a little bit of a drop right there see kind of seating it on the number of his jersey that's one thing i've noticed like when he's you know passing posture the ball's not up here on his shoulder um, and it may come out of there. He actually just kind of, again, it's just middle of his chest, balls right down here comfortably, right in his number. And then there. So it's a little bit of a drop here, and then it comes up. So I don't know if that's just a difference on this throw or the fact that he's throwing to his right. Drop. But this is really nice right here. Elbows up high. Again, this is this is kind of prototypical. Ball's a little bit behind his head, head here, ball here, but that's just creating a little whip and get it out of there. There's Tyson, you know, seating it right there on his number. Now he's throwing to his right and turns those shoulders a little more. You know, we're not looking from that angle, but he's got his shoulders turned a little bit more this way. It's going to create a little torque when he comes back the other way with it. Notice here, this is pretty good right here now. That little reverse C. You know, ball's back but not down. See what I'm talking about right there? See how the ball comes back? It sort of, what do you call that, pronate, where the back tip of the football now is pointing right at his ear and comes straight up. This is good. Good release. And really high. You know, and that's the other thing, too. He kind of continues it. So that ball's really behind his head right here. Um, 
you know so instead of a, an arm that's here here you know it's here and here that ball's really back behind his head and that's okay you know it's just interesting to me to look at the differences and it's an accurate throw we're just running drills so you can, it's fun for me anyway to watch these mechanics now here's uh milrow see that finger see that finger on the tip of the ball could just be the difference in his hands or difference in the size of his hands little bitty pat on the ball nothing wrong with that it's almost like he pats it to get it started back brings it down just a little you know the ball is not actually you know that arm's kind of extended right here and uh, it's okay but a little bit of a drop so it's almost like a couple of guys we see here that you know, going to their right a little bit more drop it down than going to their left and that's because if you look you know his shoulders are still square kind of here that that left shoulder that front shoulder isn't around here like tyson so you know maybe that's a little bit why so you drop it down but this is a really tight quick release back and up ball again we saw this you know the ball didn't actually get completely turned like some of the others when you get that arm you know if you were to compare it to the others once you're here and here uh for him for the other guys that ball is still north and south with the point of it going in his ear uh, for him, he's already got the ball turned a little bit, you know, which probably leads to a little bit more of that perception of a little bit of a quicker release. But you see the release point is good and high. It's not a low release at all. Uh, and when you watch it full speed, you, again, it's really, he turns it around quickly. Watch his arm. That's a zip. That's a quick release right there. And throw here. Yeah, another angle get a better look a little bit of drop it down ball didn't come completely straight back right there just a little loop but that ain't bad at all at all and this is perfect i mean that that elbow comes up that point of that ball is right in his ear hole i mean that's perfect position right there and then how quick do you turn it around elbow forward comes right off the side of his helmet. That's one thing you see about him probably leads to his accuracy is regardless of the different throws, that arm slot is the same every time. You know, we could we could probably freeze it right there and whether he's throwing deep, right, left, underneath, whatever, then right off the top right of his helmet is where that ball and that hand is going to be. That's the way it looks to me anyway. So we get a similar anger here. You see a little bit more um, flexibility in that arm. Just a little more motion in it for him. But see, you know, he's actually doing a better job from seating it on his number. There's no loop at all. That ball is coming straight up. You know, see that? So that's one difference. There's, you know, as opposed to for him, you know, as opposed to here to here, his is straight here and up. So... No wasted motion. This is really good. In my opinion, my humble opinion, that's really good. Same as Bryce. And you see him there, you know, longer arm, taller guy. Gets a little bit more elasticity in that arm on the release. You see that? So that's where that ball is coming out from behind his head from a little bit. It leads to some arm strength and some zip. Let's watch this one full speed. Zip. I mean, there is no wasted motion at all. That is absolutely prototypical. Little drop, but he's just getting it started. It's fine. Ball's pretty high right here, coming off the number. I mean, and it's from there, it's straight up, and it's straight out. I mean, there is no wasted motion. They call that, you know, that, that reverse C on a football the reverse C, it's just like this, and it's out. If you follow the path of the ball right there, really quick release. You know, shoulders aren't even really all that much involved in it. Up, release point good and high, right off of his shoulder. That's as quick a release as you're going to see. Zip. And here's Barker. 
That's quick too. That's no wasted motion right there. Golly, doesn't he look like his dad in that helmet? Does he not look like his dad right there? Anybody knows Jay? This is really good. You know, he's seating it a little higher. You notice that? That's what I'm saying. Like coaches over the years are wanting that. You've got that ball that's up a little bit higher. So instead of down here where the number is, a little bit more up on a collarbone, that's fine. And then a little pat, a little drop like we saw on his other throw. A little bit of a drop down right there, just kind of winding up just a little. Not bad, but he makes up for it by, look, from, from here, it is straight up and straight out that is really good up balls right in his ear a little bit closed off you know a little bit shorter arms and maybe if you look at a guy like tyson so you know the, the ball's pointed at that ear hole but it's already bringing around instead of back here where you know tyson's coming from behind his head but you know that's good tight release right there it's coming out quick and if you watch it Full speed, you kind of get a sense where it's just a really compact release right off his shoulder. So he's going to throw a ball coming right at you here in the camera angle. This is Tyson. And there's a couple of things to look at. I mean, it's all really good mechanics. The right-handed quarterback's throwing to their left. You, you, you sort of naturally have a little bit better footwork sometimes simply because, you know, you're right-handed, so the ball's on your back shoulder. You're throwing right across your body, and uh, that knee is there that shoulder is already there you don't have to work to get your shoulders turned they're already turned um so so one thing you know you can see what we were looking at some of the other stuff how the ball for him kind of comes behind the head so you can't really see it like he's throwing it right at you but instead of the ball being out here where you could see the whole ball you only see part of it because it's actually coming out from behind his head just a little whip uh, in his mechanics but the arm is good and high but what i was looking at is that knee so He's driving a ball at you. Knee is not locked out. So you got that leg strength coming, you know, pushing into the throw. And see how his front knee doesn't ever really lock out by the time he lets the ball go? He's still, you know, bent, extended, and coming forward. It means he's driving into that throw going forward. Okay. So then you look at him throw on the next rep here in this film. They're throwing a deep ball. Okay. So, well, he is. He's throwing a deep ball up the sideline. So try to, you know, focus over here. And, and watch Tyson. His knee on this one locks out on him. See that right there? So he's kind of like giving that extra oomph on the deep ball, and it's coming out. I mean, he's getting it out with the knee still slightly bent, but he's locking that front knee. Boom. See that front knee come back? It actually, what that's an indication of is you, you know, some of his momentum is going up as opposed to going forward when you're locking that knee out. When at the time you're releasing, that knee is actually coming back this way and locking out. So it means there's some momentum and power behind the throw that's back here as opposed to here in the football. And it's just a little thing, right? Like, so you'd prefer the same mechanics they had on the previous throw where that front knee is not completely locked out. It's driving forward, even though the arm angles up because it's a deep ball, you kind of prefer that. So you might lose a ball, might die on you a little bit, or it may not. I mean, it may come out on plenty of time, but you may lose just a little bit of velocity at the end of it. See, there's kind of getting disconnected from the ground because he's throwing a deep ball. He's actually jumping up on his tiptoes, so you lose a little bit. Now, he's not throwing the same ball, but direct comparison. You see, knee bent, all the momentum's driving through the front of the body, and so all the momentum on this throw for him is coming into the football. So. You look at the very next rep that was on this. Now Bryce Young is going to throw that route where he's throwing deep ball up to his right. So watch his leg. See that? So this is what you want. His knee is here. The momentum is all still going here, driving on it the same way he did as he threw coming at us on a, on a comeback. But he's throwing a deep ball. And as he is letting this thing go that knee does not lock out and come back and lock out as much so he's actually driving a little more forward because his center of gravity is a little lower and ball comes out of his hands and you can even though we're blurry here you can see knee is still bent and momentum is still driving forward so there's less of a chance that you know you're going to lose some velocity on the deep ball just little things and mechanics right there that some of it is so small and nitpicky it's hard to even work on it but they do have an impact, especially with tall guys and locking that front knee.
Thanks to Mississippi Land Bank for sponsoring these videos. Check them out online, mslandbank.com. And thanks to Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance. Check them out, favorites.com. And I'll see you on the next one.